could you tell what, from your point of view, the main achievements uh, uh, in the EU-Ukraine relationship for the last year for EU and for Ukraine? Thank you for your question. I think the main achievement uh, was to keep the unity of the European Union and to keep uh, the logic of relations, the direction of relations between Ukraine and Union throughout uh, the year. And uh, the logic is to keep the high level of support to Ukraine, I mean military support, first of all. Uh, secondly, economic and financial support and definitely to keep on track uh, regarding Ukrainian, European aspirations to move forward from the candidate status to the opening of negotiations uh, on accession and the political decision was taken at the end of December which was kind of a culmination of, of, of this work. Uh, as far as I know, uh, during this uh, extraordinary summit, uh, the issue of financial support to Ukraine will be on the agenda. Uh, and it was, uh, it was a decision taken right after the December EU Council, uh, where consensus minus one was achieved regarding the financial facility, it's a new instrument for Ukraine. So uh, I hope that uh, the European Union will be able to build up on this decision and achieve full support of 27 member states to launch this new instrument. If it will be not possible, uh, according to my knowledge, European Commission, Member States, now working on the alternative option, which is basically to continue cooperation with Ukraine in that field uh, as, uh, as it was the case during this year uh, and the main instrument is macrofinancial assistance. So definitely a new instrument would provide a good perspective and assurance that Ukraine will get enough support uh, for the next four years. But as I said, if it doesn't happen, EU will continue support of Ukraine using already conventional uh, well-tested instrument.